How's it going, everyone? So uh, I'm sitting here in the lap of luxury in Rattle River Hostel, Gorham, New Hampshire, after an 80-mile trip from Rangeley, Maine, over some gnarly terrain. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd do this a little backwards just for fun. You can see this beautiful spot. Mmm. All of this. we got people eating all the food. Uh, we've already done a trip to Walmart. I love the Marine Corps flag out front. So, um, yeah. So we are going to uh, enjoy this. I'll probably be here a few days, actually, because they offer some cool uh, hike through the mountain style stuff, uh, slack packing, and I'll probably take a zero. Me and Woodstock are hanging. But yeah, let me show you the kind of hell it took for us to get here. I found another one of these characters. Mm, grouse. Go on, grouse. You're, you're definitely in my way, grouse. Grouse. Come on now. Grouse. Get going, grouse. Let's see, what kind of stuff can we find at the shelter? Got socks. Long draws that I'm totally going to steal for the White Mountains. Busted up Seanock bag. Here's the good shit right here. Hat one, hat two, hat three. Mmm. Got to keep them clean. And a fork. That looks like it's been through some shit. Look at this fork. <laughs> and some some light reading the crucible <laughs> oh man good grief Just a lunch stop. We ain't staying here. This is the most rundown shelter, man. Mm. Mm. Man, Woodstock figured this wouldn't be such a bad spot for some tacos. Oh, God. <laughs> we almost lost the skippy. That would have been tragic. Good spot for some tacos. Yeah, because you know I'm excited for me some some tuna tacos with some red beans and quinoa. So exciting. Food time. Mm, 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 mm. Food time. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Food time. I mean, I already know what I'm going to eat. I'm 100%. I'm gonna go with this here. I think I'm gonna take this here. Tuna, quinoa, beans, jalapeno, lime juice, cilantro, veggies. Slap it in there with a couple of pepperonis. Sling a sling cheese on there. Sling on me a whole bunch of these here. Harvest cheddar sun chips and put them in some tortillas. Damn. To top it all off. Papa got condiments. All right, time to eat. Hey, man! If I will tell you what, if all that that don't make your mouth water right there, mm-hmm. It's all about that secret ingredient. You throw on some of your favorite chips. Mm. Oh, on top of that relish, and on top of that mustard and that mayo. Oh, mm. And the pepper, the pepper, no, the pepperonis, and the cheese. Ah, oh, I, I declare that that the kind of shit that'll bring a lady to your house. If that don't bring a lady to your house, ain't worth having no lady. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <sighs> Come on, bald pate. Is that all you got? Woo! Come on, you. 
Oh. This is straightforward. That's how high the grade is. Oh man. Come on, let's go. Let's get to the top of this thing. Oh. Wow, that is level with me. That's perpendicular to the ground. Cairns are a good sign. Oh man, come on now. Whew. You guys haven't seen me summon a mountain yet in this particular little video series. I figured y'all had seen me summit plenty of them in the last video of South Maine. Well, this is one of the last remaining summits of South Maine for this guy. This mountain is supposedly one of the most popular summits in Maine. The summit. <laughs> Wanna know why? <sighs> because Bald Pate Mountain has incredible 360 degree views. I'm probably going up there. I don't think I'm done at all yet. But wow, whoo, that is pretty. I'll take a video at the top as well. Got some really exciting mountains for you guys coming up. I can't wait to introduce you to the Mahusiks. That'll be real creamy stuff. All right. Yeah, I was still a half mile from the summit when I last Talk to y'all. Let's see what our sign says. Bald Pate, East Peak, East Peak, thirty-eight, twelve feet. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. The Mahusiks. I brought that up a second ago and said that I would that I was excited to introduce them to all of you. The Mahusik range is the very last range in South Maine before you hit the New Hampshire border. And it's famous, super famous. Not only is it famous on the Appalachian Trail but it's famous for the state of Maine and frankly for the state of New Hampshire. So the Mahusiks are a really special mountain range because there's something called the Mahusik Arm, which is the steepest actual mile on the Appalachian Trail. It is one mile by like 1,500 feet of gain or descent. And there's also another very famous piece called the Mahusik Notch. And the notch, actually, yeah, I might have it backwards, but either way, the Mahusik Arm, incredibly steep, and then the Mahusik Notch is this one mile section of house-sized boulders that you end up having to scramble over, under, and around in order to make the mile. It's known as the most unique as well as longest and then shortest actual mile 
on trail. We do it tomorrow. So I'm going to have probably most of this section uh, finishing up South Main is going to have footage from tomorrow. Tomorrow is super exciting. We are stoked. Tomorrow is the day that we hit the Mahusik Range. Tomorrow is the day that we get very, very close to New Hampshire. And I'm very, very stoked. All right, folks, let's tune in soon. If y'all see that farthest big old mountain back there, that is Mount Washington from the top of Bald Pate here in South Maine. And that means that all of those mountains are the whites. Oh, snap. Only 20 miles away as the crow flies, 60 miles for us walkers. <laughs> Man, we're heading down all this crap just to go up that side. That there's Bald Pate East Peak. Or West Peak. We're over here struggling down doggone East Peak. Well, crap. Sure was a nice finish, huh, Woodstock? <laughs> Ain't done yet. <laughs> Ain't done yet. <laughs> Turns out we didn't have to climb old, old Pate's ugly western face. It was all a hoax. It was a hoax, I tell ye. Did have to go across that cool looking bald traverse, but not climb his bald, ugly western face. Now we're doing steps. Lots and lots and lots of steps. Which we'll take, because we didn't have steps coming up. It was a damned slide of rock. Mmm. Yeah. Fire away, killer. Did you get that squirrel? I got the squirrel. Get out of here, grouse. Go on, grouse. Grouse, you better get grouse. You better go. You better go, grouse. I'm not messing with you, grouse. <laughs> what? Yeah, you, you better get grouse. <laughs> All right, boys and gals, we're about to do the thing. A little overcast, but I'll do my best to show y'all how steep it is and show you some action. Mahusik arm and the Mahusik notch. Oh man, we stoked. Well, this is the beginning of said Mahusik arm, we don't know what it's gonna do. There's my, my cute little feats. There's some, some woodstock back chair. Just, we're going poleless, gloveless. We're expecting to climb, baby. We don't know what's ahead. We're just gonna be taking it as it comes. So far, it's one of these granite slides. Yeah, I would say typical mountain drop as well. We'll see what happens. Away from Mahusik Notch, not Notch, Mahusik Trail, the arm. Nice, he took the baby route. Is this the baby route? <laughs> Doesn't feel like the baby route. <laughs> Don't leave me behind. I'm gonna leave you behind with, with sketch a tour. I'm keeping your camera. I'm a sketchy guy. Oh. And it goes down and down and down. <laughs> Beautiful looking water source at the base of the Mahusik arm. Us fuckers did it. We didn't do it going up, which would, that would definitely be type three fun. But at least we went down and didn't die. That's something. We have begun, college school five. Yeah. Oh. We've started the Mahusik Notch. Give you all a little look around. Probably do this every once in a while. Boulders! 
and trees and boulders and woodstock and whew. so we got a mile of this let's see what's going on that squeeze <laughs> uh. <laughs> And way more rocks. Rocks. Oh, yeah, that's the big popper rock. Wow. That is cool looking. Ho, 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 ho. Oh yeah, that's a that's a big old rock. Whew. So you can either you guys aren't founders? squeeze through there. Yeah, we're just weekend warriors. My buddy's doing a little section. You know, we're gonna do just the or uh, and over to Old Speck and up to the we can we're gonna stay at the pond tonight. Squeeze and, uh, through there. Start fishing tomorrow. I start fishing. Huh. I got my pole. Oh, yeah. and I'm not sure which one to squeeze through. I think I'm going to squeeze through the... coming up from Grafton, yeah. That's a, that's a I'm more one. of like a bottom squeezer. That's a good one. I like those steps on the ball That's kind of a so. weird thing to say, oh huh? Gosh. All right, so... Arrow goes through. Let's see what we got. I think I'm going through. I'm going down and through. Nah. I think I got it. Oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> Oof! I gotta get through that little hole. Mm. Oh, let's see. Uh. Oh man! Man, it's like getting birthed by a rock. Yeah, bro. Come on through, man. I got you on. I got you on camera. No. You're gonna go to the the top. All right, all right. All what sucks going up and over. It's like, man, Woodstock are now halfway through a mile. It still looks kind of like this. It's still just giant rocks and stuff. Oh, let's see if he's. Oh, is he gonna make it? He made it. But yeah. It is pretty cool, it's fine. It's basically just bouldering this whole way. Hmm. But either way, yeah. I'm gonna catch you later and like focus on rock jumping and stuff. Ha! Shaboom. That thing is straight up, man. Nice. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh. 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 You made that look easy. Oh, savage. Sorry about the crotch shot. Nope. I'll tell you what, man. Oh, this thing goes on forever. They say it's the longest mile on trail. They're not fucking around. It sure is. Oh.
Oof. I know. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, great. Another earth birth. That's what I've been calling these. Oh man. That's a tight squeeze. Okay. And there's the birth. Damned earth birth. Oh, regular trail. Oh, finish the notch. Whew. Oh, it took us what, like an hour? Maybe an hour and a half to go a single mile. Well, we survived, now it's lunchtime. Well, made it all the way through the Mahusics. Rad. Now we're just tired. Legs are pretty shot. And uh, we're just gonna see how far we can get. Now it's just onward to Gorham, Ma Gorham, New Hampshire, not Maine. We switch over to New Hampshire in a matter of miles. We're just gonna see how far we can get. We're hoping to get as close to Cat Town as we can. It's probably that way. And for us, town looks like Rattle River Hostel. And it cannot come soon enough. Let me tell you that. Neither can New Hampshire. As lovely as Maine has been, I'm so sick of Maine. So sick. <laughs> Just when I was excited to see actual fucking land. More fucking rocks. More rocks. Rocks and rocks and rocks. Rocks, rocks. We thought we'd be at the shelter by now. We're not at the shelter. Nope. Apparently, the topo seemed to be severely off. And, uh, yeah, we're still climbing mountains and shit. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, look around. We're fucking on top of Maine still. This makes no sense. What can you do? Yeah. Well, the saga of the day from hell is finally over. It started so well. The map just decided to throw in three or four summits without saying anything to us in like four miles but got this cool this cool cabin dewey so that's interesting and the moose can't fit in nope no mooses <laughs> no moose allowed all right it is hot chow time like it's cool mm. There it is. I am in New Hampshire, and Woodstock is still in Maine. Fuck Maine. <laughs> Do it again. Fuck Maine. <laughs> oh, fuck. So what we decide? Nin 19 days? 19 days it took us to go 281 miles over Maine. Piece of cake. No problem. Come on out. Yep, no problem. You could, you could bust that shit out. I bet you could do it in a week. I've got faith in you. I'm very excited for New Hampshire. I'm sure you can't tell from the, pre the previous hour long videos I had. <laughs> long live the White Mountains, woo! Okay, so, we're trying to explain to Maine that we drew political lines here. You're no longer allowed to be Maine. This is now New Hampshire. I don't know what all these rocks are doing. In New Hampshire! <laughs> we left Maine. It won't let us go. This is bullshit. 
first peak in New Hampshire. It was so easy. First in New Hampshire. It was so easy. I gotta enjoy these while I can because the whites are gonna suck. New Hampshire! Woo! Ugh. Town tonight. <sighs> oh yeah. Civilization feels good. Ow! So, I uh, just arrived in Gorham. Gorham, New Hampshire. Uh, it's mile 298. I'm almost to the hostel now. I'm gonna try to not get beamed by a car. Well, check out this dam. While well, checking out the dam and like inviting it to you guys. Look at the dam. This is the Androscoggin River. Pretty good sized river. Mm hmm. Frankly, looks really inviting. I'm pretty toasty. Welcome to New Hampshire. Pretty stoked. Real excited. I already got the reservation at Rattle River Hostel. Can not wait. So I will show you guys around there after I arrive. Toodles! <laughs> Casual trip to town. Walmart? Where do you want to go? This is a get to town at the hostel. Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> so I thought I'd give you guys a quick look around. So, there's the backyard. There's a fire going. There's a bunch of folks that are just, you know, they're here for extended time. Some of them are here, uh, you know, doing work for a stay. All kinds of cool, interesting reasons to be here. Some are just hikers and some are just travelers. Classic hostel. Here's where we are. All of our shoes. No shoes in the house. Backpacks and gears. A couple of showers to immediately hose us off because nobody wants to be around smelly hikers. Quick map of the trail. Woo. Look at that. Self explanatory what that is. And look at all these hikers. What up, Sheep Rock? Chillin. Quickly show y'all where I'll be staying. This is where we are on trail. Mmm, White Mountains. Oh boy. And yeah, this is here is gonna be me and Woodstock's bunks. Classic bunkhouse. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a look at a, a kind of classic hiker hostel setup. Um, we do shuttles into town for shopping and, you know, resupplying. And many, many of them are doing beer runs and alcohol runs, as well as things like pizza runs and all that. But yeah. All right. Took us a long time to get here. South Maine didn't want to let us go. It was, it was long, it was rough, it's about 200 miles of pain. Physically, we are standing at mile 298 right now. And uh, when, I, when I leave here in the next couple days, this is the new adventure. 96 miles of one of the toughest stretches of trail. The only other spot that is debatably equally hard is South Main. Can't wait to show you guys. Can't wait to see it myself. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Catch you later.